Hello ladies and gentlemen. Is Mr. Sentimore going to stay the course or will he be announcing his retirement in the next 12 months? Keep watching for the answer to this and other important questions. The Archbishop of York seems to have made up his mind that people who are gay are not normal. Unproductive unions are not the will of God. Would Mr. Sentimore cast out the barren woman or the man who has had the snip if they subsequently marry? And are they to be accused of being an unproductive union simply because they can't have children? Mr. Sentimore's powers of casting out demons seems to be especially strong when it comes to gay people. Gay marriage is wrong, and it also appears that he won't allow God to consent to a gay man becoming a Church of England bishop, not on his watch. Well done, Mr. Sentimu. How in touch you are with the people of England, and what an image of Christ you have set before them. Mr. Sentimu's Christ might go down well in some places, but then so does the death penalty for gays. This is not what Jesus came to teach us, and people who talk in this way are playing a very dangerous game with other people's lives. In his crusade against gay people, Mr. Sentimu has demonstrated a well-documented series of skills that rely on a past world view. It is an outdated world that he lives in, a world that England has moved away from, an undemocratic, unaccountable world, the Church of England world. Some people want Mr. Sentimu to become the next Archbishop of Canterbury when Mr. Rowan retires into his books. The Mr. Centre Move for Canterbury campaign is a movement that has support from all who love his undemocratic bullying and his powers of casting out demons from the church, but they are going to be very disappointed because it isn't going to happen. Mr. Centimore is worn out and he is looking to go. He is not the young man he once was. His health is failing. He would not have the stamina to fulfil the role. The recent words of this arch manipulator have become even less guarded than ever. Mr. Sentimore's image is slipping and we are glimpsing his true character. Mr. Sentimore, the reactionary, or perhaps the buffoon, is likely to be what the newspapers report and he is likely to become more raving because of his decision to go. He is showing classic signs of gate fever. He will be given plaudits, no doubt, in some quarters. The less discerning media will remember him as a breath of fresh air for photo shoots. But Mr. Sentimu's legacy, his real legacy, will be as a broken reed in the hand of Mr. Williams, who himself has managed to destroy his own chances of being hailed as a breath of fresh air for the Church of England, what a different story it would have been had Mr. Williams not had to contend with Mr. Sentimu. Indeed, Mr. Williams and the church in general has lost a great deal through this particular marriage. Mr. Sentimu may abhor unproductive marriages of gays, but it is a real pity that we did not prevent the unproductive marriage of Sentimu and Williams. It will be interesting to see what comes out of the church house in Westminster next week during the General Synod of the Church of England. I will be prowling around the urinals myself and espying the bishop lovers taking beatings from the likes of Sentimu in the back rooms and loving it. Bye bye for now.